Cash Patel, Donald Trump's controversial pick to lead the FBI, has made no secret of his plans to weaponize the department to go after his perceived enemies. Those include members of what he refers to as the deep state, the fake news mafia, and even former colleagues. And Patel appears to be making good on that threat already before facing a confirmation process, threatening former Trump White House colleague Olivia Troy with litigation and demanding that she retract, quote, defamatory comments stemming from her blunt assessment of their time together. Let's take a listen to that. Cash Patel is a delusional liar. Let me just be very clear about that. And he would lie about intelligence. He would lie about making things up on operations. I think Mark Esper has talked about that as well, where he put the lives of Navy SEALs at risk in an operation when it came to Nigeria. These are things that actually were happening in real time when he was in the role of CT coordinator in the White House. And I know this because at some point, I realized that I needed to double check Cash's work to make sure that I wasn't misinforming Mike Pence by relying on his word. So I had to go around him. And Olivia Troy joins me now. She served as a Homeland Security counterterrorism and COVID task force advisor to former Vice President Mike Pence. Olivia, great to see you this morning. I mean, what does that even tell you that even before his confirmation hearings, he is threatening you for criticizing him? Yeah, I think it's a very clear sign of what's to come should he become the director of the FBI and how he's going to conduct himself. I mean, we should take him at his word. These are things that he has threatened in the past. And I think uh, by doing what he did, by sending that letter to me, it was an attempt to bully me, silence me, intimidate me. But it's also a signal to others, right, as he goes into the confirmation process of, of trying to silence others in terms of telling the truth about his background. I mean, look, I am a person who believes that he is unfit for the role of FBI director and I have concerns about how he will behave in the role uh, in you know, leading the nation's premier law enforcement agency. And so you stand by your criticism of Cash Patel. I absolutely yeah. do. This is Even if they have this letter saying you've got to retract all this, you're not going to do that. Yeah, I'm not going to retract from telling the truth. That is where I am. And this is something that I lived uh, when I was working with them. And it is absolutely true. I, you know, my job in that role was to serve the vice president of the United States in the best way possible. That is what I did. And if it meant, you know, at times not taking cash at his word, going around, look, there were people on his staff that used to come to my office and seek counsel for me and advice about what it was like to work for him who know exactly what I'm talking about. Others have been very public about the things that I mentioned. I am not the only senior national security official who has, you know, come out and said they have concerns about Cash Patel and his fitness for this role. And so uh, you would testify at a confirmation hearing if, if called to testify uh, for Cash Patel. And, and, and you think that is it possible that other you were just mentioning other officials who worked around him uh, during the Trump administration? Is it possible we might see other former colleagues be called to testify who, who would have things to say about things that he did right, things that they think he did wrong. Yes, and I, the reason that I think this is so important is because we are people that worked in nonpartisan roles. That's how the national security community works, right? And that is why we're concerned, because when it comes to someone that's going to lead the FBI, the last thing we need is a loyalist partisan hack leading that agency and doing things that are going to be just for the president's or his personal vendetta. And that is why this matters so much. And I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to go before Congress and testify and tell them what I know. I'm sure others would as well. And, and to be clear, I mean, if he becomes FBI director, I mean, he, he has talked in the past about going after members of the media, going after what he refers to as the deep state. Uh, earlier this week, we were showing uh, an appendix from one of his books that shows this list of people that are from the deep state. It looks like an enemies list. I suppose he might say it's not an enemies list. Do you think if he becomes the FBI director that he will target people? that he considers to be uh, his adversaries or enemies, uh, not only of Cash Patelli, but, but, but of Donald Trump. Yes, absolutely. And I would say that, you know, on that list are Republicans on that list. And I would say that anyone that he feels has crossed the president in the future should really think carefully about what it looks like to have the FBI run by someone who is going to behave in this manner. And this is someone, his demeanor, when he was in the roles that I met him in, when he was working in the first Trump administration, this is how he behaved on a daily basis, was a division of always suspecting deep state people, always questioning it, He's hiding information, um, and I could go on. So you think he could go after John Bolton? You think he could go after Lisa Monaco, Stephanie Grisham, people like that? Yes, and it is concerning. Uh, these are people who are simply telling the truth about what they know, and I think um, we should pay close attention to what this means for 
for the media, for people going forward, and is that who we want to be as a nation? Is that who we want to be as a United States with someone in the FBI leading that organization, using it for political purposes and not using it to protect the safety and security of the American people? And I, I got to run, but I do want to ask you something. I asked Zoe Lofgren in the previous segment. There's been some reporting over at Politico, Jonathan Martin, reporting that the Biden administration is thinking about doing preemptive pardons. Do you think preemptive pardons are necessary for people like yourself, other uh, folks that uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci, Adam Schiff, Liz Cheney, I mean, uh, th that uh, could be targeted by a Cash Patel-led FBI? I mean, it's certainly something to consider. I guess my question is, I have not done anything wrong. I know that. And I know that many of us who have just spoken the truth all we're doing is speaking the truth. But in today's environment, in terms of what's to come under the Trump administration, I think that's something that we're all thinking about and wondering what's to come. And I think I am a prime example of what's to come when I've already gotten a threatening letter by someone like Cash Patel, who we know is a loyalist and a henchman for Donald Trump. All right. Olivia Troy, thank you very much.